I have done several experiments with pressure and water. It's been a while since we've done an experiment. Are we doing one today? That's the plan. One of the first experiments you probably conducted, not even knowing it was an experiment, was putting your thumb or finger on the end of a straw that's in a liquid. When you lift that up and release your thumb, the water falls out. That's because air can rush into the top part of the straw where your thumb was, replacing the water inside. That better not be the experiment. The one I want to do is a little more complicated. I have a bottle with two holes in it and two straws in those holes, and there's nothing blocking the straws, but no water comes out of the bottle until I lift the orange straw above the yellow one. Once it gets to that point, the bottle begins to empty. When you push the orange straw below the yellow straw, though, the flow stops. Are you a wizard? Uh, no. Remember, air pressure does not just push downward. Air pressure pushes on all things in all directions, meaning that the position of the straws is the key to what's happening here. Again, the orange straw, when below the yellow straw, causes the flow to stop, but when the orange straw is above the yellow straw, the flow begins. So you're telling me there's no tricks and these are normal straws? Yes. And you're telling me you're not a wizard? Right. We know air is pushing equally into the yellow straw and the orange straw. Now look at the water. The water would want to flow out of the yellow straw if air was allowed to come into the bottle. Gravity and air pressure at work in that situation, but that's obviously not able to happen when the orange straw is below the yellow one. But it is able to happen when you lift that orange straw above the yellow straw. So is the water playing a role? Exactly. Looking at the bottle from the top of the water to the bottom of the bottle is what we would consider a column of water. There's water above and below the yellow straw, obviously. And as you push the orange straw in from the top, you actually fill it up with water. When you push the orange straw's tip below the yellow straw, something happens. The column of water becomes greater with the orange straw since you dipped it below the yellow one. This essentially creates a pressure difference resulting in the flow of water wanting to go from the yellow straw to the orange one, even though the yellow straw is horizontal. Since there's not enough pressure to push the water all the way out, it just stops the flow. When you lift the orange straw, though, the water column becomes smaller, meaning the air pressure pushes down on the orange straw, creating a flow from the orange straw to the yellow straw, pushing the water out. So essentially, I made a silly version of a siphon. You made something silly? Never. Never. Reporting from home. I'm Elizabeth Patlin. And I'm meteorologist Ray Patlin.